Sunday evening stroll in the Lee Valley. What more can a person want? Just led one of my walks for the Borough of Culture, Wolfham Forest Borough of Culture, I should say, over the marshlands. Thanks to everyone that came on that. It's so lovely to meet people that have been watching the videos. It's really delightful. That was a really lovely walk that ended at the Walthamstow Wetlands, started at the Waterworks Centre in Leighton at the Essex Filter Beds. A magical experience. So I've been walking since, well, I left home about half twelve actually, so nearly six o'clock now, but I wanted to tag on a little bit of a walk in the Lee Valley after that lead walk. A couple of hours of daylight, about three hours of daylight. Don't know how far it'll carry me, but it's just delightful to be out here with you. Incredible views here from the corner of Banbury Road and Cooper Avenue, Walthamstow, looking back down the Lee Valley. We're walking along Folly Lane. Path that runs beside the Banbury Reservoir. There's almost a type of barricade here at the end of well, across Folly Lane. These barrels filled with concrete and boulders and a gate. And I believe this is the Muslim cemetery. It's a very uh, an imaginative, poor quality fly tipping here right outside the cemetery. There's got to be some seriously bad karma. I've uh, visited a couple of official nature reserves in the Lee Valley today. And here we have a very much unofficial nature reserve here. A patch of uh, rough ground beside the reservoir on Folly Lane. If you've ever wondered what edge lands were when you hear people talk about that. Well, this is it. <laughs> Come down here. It's got everything you want. Civic infrastructure, cemetery, fly tipping. It's got a big arterial road coming up here. We've got the end of the River Ching. It's all going on down here. Trucks, wastage, kind of uh, haulage yards, the whole kit and caboodle. This is the, uh, the end of the River Ching, I believe. I am leading a walk along the River Ching, a couple of walks for the, as part of the walks I'm doing for the Waltham Forest London Borough of Culture, but I'm not coming to this part of the Ching, actually, because it uh, involves a right hazardous and unpleasant walk over the North Circular. But here it is. Smashed glass, probably from a car. Lots of litter in the grass verge beside the spindly trees. Here we have the Folly Lane Pumping House. It's a really majestic building, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who with my younger son lately. Buildings like this have really taken on a kind of Doctor Who aura about them for me. This is obviously something to do with UNIT. River Lee Flood Relief Channel. Another classic postcard from the Edgelands. Edgelands. I was talking earlier on about liminal space as well. Here you have it, guys. It's rough ground beside the river, the pylons, the chimney from the London Waste Centre over there, and the ground littered with fly tipping. And beyond it, the arterial road sliced through. Skip Hire Company there. It's funny because we were leading a walk around the kind of very, you know, the managed parts of the Lee Valley, the, the nature reserves, things that have been cleaned up for people to look at. But this 
is all part of the same infrastructure, it's part of the same ecosystem. This kind of edge land, this post-industrial area of fly tipping and rubbish and this, look at this place here, it's incredible. I used to uh, fantasise about basing a psychogeographical survey group in a building like this, not far from the North Circular. Incredible mound of rubble. This is a key decision point in terms of which side of the Lee I'm going to walk on, on the London Waste side, or try and stay on the east side within the Dane law. There's really quite a foul smell in there. I can't quite tell where it's coming from. I guess it could be coming from London Waste, but I don't remember smelling this when I've been here multiple times before. So at this point we can descend into the bowels of the earth and go underneath all these roads on the Lee Valley Walk. You can hear the traffic thundering overhead. It's quite a sultry evening. I'd say there was a possibility of some rain at some point. It's great to be down by the river. It's so good to be doing this walk. I used to walk this section of the navigation quite a lot, uh, particularly before I started doing the regular videos. I love walking along here. It's a real sense of release, of uh, cutting through this sort of edge of the city. I don't think I've been up this part of the navigation this year. Not that I can, not that I can think of, anyway. It's got a magical feel to it. Do what thou wilt. I think that's something to do with what Alistair Crowley was talking about, wasn't it? Although it has longer origins than that, I believe. It's funny, you see the people on the boats here, it always makes you think of that romantic idea of kind of going to live on a narrow boat on the waterways. I was going to say drop out and live on a, a narrow boat, but I don't think people that live on narrow boats is necessarily dropping out. But there is something about the freedom of a, a life on the water that is very romantic and appealing. This is an Alfie's Lock. Apparently is the new name for Pickett's Lock. I wonder why they changed the name. Who's Alfie? Well, I'd really love to see some otters in the River Lee one day. See the signboards telling you to look out for them and that they swim in these waters and nest nearby, but I've never actually seen any. The uh, Camden Town Brewery, which has somehow found itself up at Ponder's End. But it used to have been a railway arch uh, beneath Kentish Town West Station. It seemed to have grown quite considerably. It's a bit of a marina here up at Ponder's End, and I think there's a, a river which makes its confluence with the Lee Navigation here. I think it might be the Turkey Brook or the Salmon Brook, I'm not entirely sure. Or it might be neither of those. South Island Marina, it's called. Ponder's End Lock. This pub here on the on the far side is it a harvester or a brewers' fair? It always used to look very enticing on the walks from this side of the river, and then uh, one evening I did end my walk and went over there for a pint and. It was a bit disappointing, to be honest. It was a point where it felt as though all my walks ended in Ponder's End. It was a very strange thing, no matter where I went. 
South Wales, <laughs> joking. But um, yeah, I'd walk through the forest and then head down and end up at Ponder's End. I'd walk through Hackney and end up at Ponder's End, you know. Uh, so then that's when I started to be determined to push out and go up the Lee. I think I first went up to Waltham Abbey, I think it was as recently as 2013, I think. Because now I love it. This stretch particularly though is great. where you get the hills there rising over the Lee Valley and of course I've walked all along that ridge of land now this is usually the point where you stop seeing people until you get to the outskirts of Waltham Abbey that wonderful last hour of light as we move up towards Waltham Abbey, I think. I think we've got to go through Enfield Lock first. wrong about this but you can see the river splitting over there beneath Brimsdown power station. I think uh, that is the course of the old River Lee and of course here we're on the navigation. Enfield dry dock over there. This is uh, the boatyard here at Enfield Lock. Magical little mill pond here at Enfield. location, Rami Marsh, on the banks of the River Lee. This approach into Waltham Abbey beside uh, Rami Marsh and the river is, this is one of my favourite stretches of the Lee Valley here. Really magical, particularly if you can hit it around sunset like now. Glorious stuff. This fantastic floating greenhouse being pulled along behind this beautiful barge here. What a magical thing. That is absolutely fantastic. The M25, London Orbital the road that forever belongs to Ian Sinclair. A film that I cannot recommend strongly enough is by the brilliant visionary filmmaker Andrew Cotting, a film called Edith Walks. It's a walk following Edith Swanneck's journey from Waltham Abbey to the Battle of Hastings to retrieve the body of King Harold after the Battle of Hastings. And I walked with them from Waltham Abbey down to Enfield Lock and I filmed a section of that which is included in the film, which is a wonderful moment for me. And there's one particularly memorable scene here, beneath the M25, with them in costume, Andrew and his merry band of mummers and Ian Sinclair, Claudia Bart and Jem Finer, all kind of anonymous bosh, all of them kind of dancing around in the, uh, in the dust beneath the M25.
actually uh, interviewed Ian Sinclair about uh, London Orbital, his book about walking around the M25, under that bridge there, beneath the M25, which was a great thing. Just up ahead here is Waltham Abbey. Where the walk ends, I see Waltham Abbey as being probably the great nodal point along the River Lee and in the Lee Valley. Place of great, kind of almost spiritual and historical significance. A place of pilgrimage. So it's a good place to end a walk, I think. Just gonna go down to uh, Waltham Cross Station, so away from the Abbey, but there's plenty of videos featuring the Abbey on my channel here. Thanks so much for coming on this impromptu Sunday evening stroll up the Lee Valley, and I look forward to seeing you on the next walk, wherever that may be.